All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of our State of Decay 2 Lethal Zone Guide. Now, um, first things first, we uh, start out here at the outpost. We're going to quickly go and try to get this medicine. Um, I told you it's it's been rough uh, trying to find them. We've, we've scoured pretty much all of the areas that are outside of plague territory um there was this one bathroom looking structure here uh that we're gonna go check real quick we'll see if we can get a bag out of there and then what i'm gonna end up doing is we'll dip our toes here and try to hit these two locations um uh, now i i know we're gonna be going into plague territory so we're gonna go ahead and activate our disruptor that way we don't have to worry about the heart waking up oh my star survivor just got tired so we're actually gonna have to swap her out now, I believe with the under the weather um, thing, they fatigue faster also. <clears throat> so we're going to go to our outpost right here. Switch survivors. People say you're wise, free your zombies. But that don't matter to me. Oh, you up for a swim? I say go for it. That place was crowded before. How bad do you think it is now? I mean, I highly doubt Hawaii is actually free of zombies, dude. The network doesn't get that. Okay, so... Um... I yeah, will take Kim out. We'll take Kim out. Meds, uh, we'll grab those just in case. A little bit of fire and bullets. Now, goal is obviously to, to, to not fight. <clears throat> um, the goal is to not fight, but, uh, just in case, you know what I mean? We want to we want to have a little bit of resources on us. Oh, con conversion is done. All right, smooth sailing now, guys. So we're going to hit this first location. Everything should be smooth there. It's outside of plague territory. Spawn rate should be relatively low. Um, now, there is some new changes coming, guys, um, to the PTR that's going to be uh, making curveballs and stuff like that very, very adjustable. Won't really affect players um, who are new to Lethal Zone, but there are going to be ways if you want to make the game easier like you can make it so only good curveball spawn you can make it so only bad curveball spawn you can change the intensity of the curveballs making the good ones better making the bad ones you know easier or work like you know what i mean so you'll be able to scale your your playthrough a bit more when it comes to the curveballs so that in a way could make the game a bit easier or you can make the game ungodly hard for yourself now, when that um, change hits PTR, which I don't know if by time this video is live for you guys, if it's already live and we've already started punishing ourselves, but my goal for that is that we're gonna we're gonna be doing a playthrough, um, making curve only negative curveballs and making them as hard as possible. Uh, so that's gonna be interesting to see. <clears throat> is it a bathroom? Yes, it is. So let's get in there. Oh, damn, it's preluded. Shit. Of course it is. Of course it is, guys. All right, so we're going to have to hit these two spots here and hope that 
Well, both of them are obviously lootable, so... And there's a bathroom here, so there's technically three rucksacks and uh, meds right there. Uh, but another change is, is they were talking about um, changing the way that zombies spawn, making it more uh, like when you start clearing out an area, that an area actually feels clear and that the zombies don't just endlessly continue to spawn because that's kind of how the game is now. Like, you can clear an area. Like, I can kill all the zombies in this area, drive away, come back, and all the zombies will be back. Uh, they're talking about changing the way that zombies spawn, that there could be more zombies than we see now in certain areas and less zombies in other areas. And th they plan on making it feel like we can actually make an impact on the zombie spawns. Which will be interesting to see how that how that whole thing plays out. Way too many plague zombies in this part of town. All right, so the only thing we really got to worry about is like big nasty hordes right next to these medical sites that will run us off the 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 area, but. Hopefully we're good. Okay, nothing too nasty. A lot of zombies in the area, plague zombies, but we should be good. Should have brought the damn crossbow with me. Now, we do have suppressed guns, but even suppressed weapons still make noise. Um, I could probably easily clear this area out, though. Worked him over there a little bit. I guess this is as good as it gets in plague territory. Just didn't want to have to like super super tiptoe. Again. Uh, they also are changing the way fat like uh, zombies like the the whole zombie spawning situation. So right now, if you fast search, um, what ends up happening is it spawns in a zombie if you get a search crash. Like, it'll just spawn one out of thin air. Um, they're going to be changing the way that works to now only make noise like everything else. Like, it won't spawn anything. So if you clear the area completely, there's no zombies around, really, you can go in and fast search because what's going to hear it? You know what I mean? Um, which will be a pretty interesting change. So it'll definitely give you more incentive to clear out an area um, than... Uh, if you if you want to search fast search, you know what I mean? Which right now fast searching is just it's never really worth it because it, it always just makes a ton of noise. One, two, one. Alright, so goal is to just get in here. I see a screamer. Get the bag of meds. Get in the car and get the hell out of here. Yeah, that's a blood barrel. Zero. Bring my aggro to me.
No medicine. Highly doubt the meds are gonna be in the frickin' drink machine. Shit. So there's food in here still. There's that bathroom on the way out of town. That's what we got to kind of bank on now. We got another broken heart. So instead of the... So instead of getting the black heart shot, I get another broken one. So I just want to search this bathroom here. Let's see. So where is that broken heart? Here. Yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll go knock that out real quick. Those ones are real. E they're pretty easy to kill them. But I think. I don't think they call zombies. I don't think. What what do they do exactly? Let me see. Yeah, they're muted, and the zombies that we are show up are weak. Hopefully the meds are on this side, not on the side that had all the zombies banging on the damn door. Yes! Bad news, that's a bloater. Alright, so we're good to go, guys. We got everything that we need. Just nasty. Hopefully, I have enough gas to make it all the way back to base. Might not have enough fuel. We're gonna have to swing by an outpost real quick.
I wonder if we get credit for depositing those rucksacks at our outpost. That would have been uh, nice to try, but I mean, we're almost back to base anyway, so we're going to swing up here, grab some fuel for the car, and we'll head back to base, drop these meds off, go kill that play cart. Got to take advantage of it being a weak heart, especially getting down to the wire like this. I would just deposit the meds to see if it works, but I don't like. I'm having such a hard time finding meds. I don't even want to risk it not counting. So, we'll we'll leave that science for another day. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't want to mess around with it and then not work, and then I I'm down a ruck. Let me see gas. Yep. We'll grab a heavy weapon just. So when we go to kill this play cart, we're already geared up. I'll grab a pipe bomb. We already got some fire. And I'll grab a heavy weapon here. Because I believe she has powerhouse too. So she should be able to knock it out pretty quick. All right, she does have powerhouse. Yeah. Can't do it. We already got stims. Yeah, we're good to go. Kind of upset that damn feral knocked my damn door off, but what can you do? Now the broken hearts, um, the the main issue with them is they're they're a good thing. But they're also kind of a bad thing because what happens is when a broken heart pops off, they um, they wake up the plague heart. So now we have a plague heart woken up to the north that's going to be spreading infestations and stuff. And um, if you don't kill the heart while it's weak, it does eventually uh, regenerate. It becomes not broken anymore and it just goes back to being a normal plague heart that's awake. We learned that the hard way in the beginning of this playthrough where I didn't... There's one. There's two. And there's three. Boom. And you get influence every time, too? That's what's up. All right. So now that's all done. As you guys can see, now we got the... Uh, this broken heart plague... Or this broken plague heart we're about to go take care of. I um, wonder if I should get my door back. We'll hold off. We will need some more gas, though. We are going to need some more gas. We do have the radio command to locate medicine, but we're all good now. We uh, took care of that. Let me see. So where exactly is this play card? Now, because we now these two would definitely wake each other up. Like if I killed this one, it would wake up this one if we didn't have our um, plague disruptor active. But because the disruptor is active, we should have no issues. Um, so yeah, we'll go kill this one, and then any infestations that this is currently creating will wither away and die.
All right, so we're just scanning for bloaters and stuff like that. Make sure we don't hit anything crazy. When we get in, we're going to try to just go fast, kill this thing as quick as possible. Because it's muted, it shouldn't call anything, really. Might just have to deal with whatever's ambient in the area. Uh, but for the most part, the heart itself should be... I've only fought, like, one of these play cards before. I don't remember exactly how it went. My skin is crawling. Must be a play card nearby. But I do know it was, it was fairly simple. Also, even the zombies in the area of this play card are weaker. Period. Not just the ones that spawns. Gonna kill that screamer. I am never gonna get that stick out of my was an infestation horde that we ran into there. Wow, the zombies are crazy slow, dude. Except when they do that. We should start securing this area now that it's gone. I just wanted to loot out this damn heart. Yep. As you can see, didn't wake up this one. Everything was good because of the plague disruptor. Now, if you didn't have plague disruptor dis uh, enabled there, um, it would it would have been pretty That's pretty, heavy. pretty shitty. <laughs> It looks okay, but with a play cart nearby, no place so I'm wondering can really be secure. If those slow zombies, are, yeah, they're still in the area. As I say, we could go over here and potentially just get a couple hits on on this play cart. Uh, we're already in the area. We got we got some resources on us, um, and I'm like, dude, we might as well just pop in there real quick, just hit it a couple times, and then just bounce. You know what I mean? We don't have to necessarily kill the whole thing right now. Uh, but we could just go in and just do some quick, you know, damage and then and take off. Like I, I tried to show you guys that in the beginning of the playthrough that um, play cards remember how much damage you do to them. So as long as you phase it. So if we go get a phase right now, we could just take off. We might do that. Let me see. Is there anything lighter we could swap for that backpack? Yep, swap the samples. Backpack. That stem. Good grab. Let's 
we heard the feral. So things are pretty chill right now. We'll keep going. There he is. I'm gonna ride out this stim. As soon as the stim wears off, we'll take off. Good grab again, dude. There we go. All right, we'll go. All right, we're wicked, wicked close to blood breaks, so. So we got two phases out of that. Two phases out, out of it. Now we just got to come back later on, and there's one more phase. It'll be easy peasy, guys. I got grabbed twice from that damn corner, man. That that's the only the, the heavy attack with the the uh, the power attack with the heavy weapon is super strong. Like, but it does definitely set you up as you guys see. I got grabbed twice there, um, compared to when you're normally swinging. It, you could you could re you can avoid getting grabbed pretty easily. But yeah, once you try to do the heavy swing to quicken things, you you can take a lot more damage as you guys see in there. Okay, so we're gonna. Get her. I I was gonna use a play cure on her, but we'll just swap her out. We'll get her back at base. It'll save us the, the resources. Get her back on base defense. Throw her in the infirmary. She'll be all right. <clears throat> so we'll go to our base. Go to infirmary. Treat. Boom. I need some meds and a good sleep. And she'll be resting up for us. Well, as I said, our food numbers are kind of low, man. Here in Trumbull Valley, we're looking for good folks willing to work hard to rebuild this land. All of our food buffs are down right now. Then I suggest you pack up your stuff and join us here. There's plenty to live for in Trumbull Valley. Now we got the perfect strangers project there. I'm not too concerned about that, but now this play card, it is awake. So as you guys know, it's going to be sending out, um, it's going to be sending out infestation hordes and stuff like that. So, um, as of right now, we do got that feral in the area that was at the heart. Um, as of right now, like I said, we, we, we got it going. We, we left the area. All is good. And I'm going to show you, we can easily go back. The area should be calm, calmer than it was at least. And then, uh, let me see here. I'll grab a plague here and I should be good with that. It's going to pop back up there real quick. We'll grab some more ammunition. We'll clear that out. Sun's gonna be coming up, so by the time we get it done, sun should be up. Uh, we will need more gas. Yo, we're chewing through fuel, man. It's crazy. Literally, feel like 
I mean, we are doing a, a decent bit of driving, but I feel like we're going through gas cans like freaking water, man. I don't think I emptied out the trunk, did I? I don't know why I'm going to this freaking outpost. I got one down the street from here. That'd be a little... Pretty sure it's a little closer. Yeah, definitely closer. If I take out the nearest play guard, this should clear up. So the shitty thing is I didn't grab a heavy weapon. The infestation level is basically zero. Thanks for the hard work. Shit, scream! Hell yeah, that shit worked great! Now just gotta get out of here. A lot less plague zombies around here. There it is, guys. Let's get it done. Get the hell out of here. You know what I mean? Made that a little harder on myself because I didn't grab a heavy weapon, so we had to just sit there and whack it with the katana machete, which is definitely not ideal. But we got it done. I used the fire to kind of soften it up too. The fire did some pretty decent damage. This is level two, so we can deposit our rucksacks here. That should keep us going. Now we do have the bounty broker mission up there that we have not claimed yet, like at all this playthrough. Not that the rifle is going to be a must use, like, it's a decent rifle, we just won't really need it right now. Um, but we have another heart here, really, really close by in the brick bungalow. We have one here in the vet clinic. And then one here at the seconds auto. So, 
I wanted to show you guys uh, another way to kill play cards. Now, there's certain... Um, the, the way I'm going to show you is you can't use this method on every single play card. Most of them, but not every single method. Mainly because depending on where the play card is located in the building can make it so you can't use this method. You'll hurt yourself really, really bad. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a way you could probably finagle it and figure it out. But I feel it's just some buildings just don't work. And um, that is to use bloater gas. Now, um, bloater gas is probably one of the strongest methods to kill play cards in the game. Um, in, in Nightmare Zone, it takes two. In Lethal Zone, it takes three grenades. Um, and I think I think it's Lethal or Nightmare and Down. It's only two to kill a whole play card. Now, um, I'm gonna show it on the seconds auto heart here because this one is an open bay. It'll be real, real easy for me to kind of set up and showcase without you know potentially damaging myself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna gear up. I got stims already, you got heals. We're gonna top off on fire. I'm gonna grab the bloater gas. Now what you need for bloater gas is imagine what you're gonna do is you're gonna throw these things out and they create a huge bloater cloud. And then what you do is you wanna ignite that bloater cloud with some kind of flame. So you can use any fire object, Molotovs, um, fuel bombs, you can use um, firecrackers. My favorite though is for the road flares here because they, the firecrackers, what they did, they make a lot of noise. Um, so they draw zombies in compared to the road flare, which burns longer and it doesn't really make all that much noise. So the road flares are kind of the meta when it comes to using bloater gas. You kind of pop it down right in front of the heart and then you throw the gas. It'll whoosh, explode. Wait a second. Throw another one. Boom. And, and they keep doing it like that. So um, we need those. I'll grab i'll grab a couple road flares and then uh what i like to do is because we don't have three bloater gas grenades um and i don't i don't i don't like to waste bloater gas is what i'll do is i'll melee the first phase of the play cart and then i will bloater gas the other two now you can bloater gas the first phase melee the second phase and then bloater gas the third phase that will probably be your best bet time way time frame wise but it all kind of just depends on the situation now the only problem is is you might have to use a, a, a second flare if you do it that way because um the bloater gas is going to quickly phase the heart the first time then you got to wait go in there melee phase it again wait and then you have to go and um throw it out like throw another one and, and try to kill ted so what I generally do is I'll go in, I'll melee the heart, boom, 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 have it phase, throw the flare on the ground, it'll pop, but then you just back up a little bit, boom, bloater gas one, bloater gas two, and then and kind of go from there. It's a really, really fast process. So that's how we're going to try to do it. Um, obviously, if you get pressed really hard, sometimes you got to push back and re um, reset and stuff like that, but we'll, we'll go, we'll see how, how it works out. This area is pretty big, so even if you do a lap around the building to kind of stretch the zombies out, which you just kind of get back to that open area, throw your bullet or gas grenade in, and just keep moving. Like it's all about speed and 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 continue to move fast. Um, I might take this car up there because this one doesn't. Have... Oh shit! This one doesn't have a door. Whoops. Stamina. Again, didn't grab a heavy weapon, so. In my mind, I literally thought I had one on me, even though we know that we didn't, because I didn't have it in the last one. So I just popped that stamina item. Kind of sucks, because it's going to go to waste, but it's better than, like, 
I'd rather waste a stamina item, go back, grab what we need, and come back and do it the right way than sit here and try to go, oh, well, I made a mistake. Like, it's, it's really not that big of a deal, Chad. Just drive back down the road real quick. I'll grab another stam item, and I'll grab a, the heavy weapon. Now, we did waste the gas, though. That sucks, because I took this car because it did have a little bit of fuel in it. And now, as you can see, the... Uh, we probably still have enough gas to make it up there and back, though, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so let's actually grab our heavy weapon this time. No, there was a juggernaut in the area. Um, like I said, juggernauts are not that crazy of a deal um, because you could just keep moving and just just avoid it. Now, the issue would be if we get comboed, like a feral grabs us, bring us to the ground or something like that, then it could definitely turn that juggernaut into a big deal if he gets on top of us. But as long as we keep our, our distance, we should be okay. Oh, we're kind of pushing our luck here. Doing. Now, that sucks. That is triple feral, and they will definitely probably... I think they might come all the way up here. If I take out the nearest play guard, this should clear. Wait, maybe it'd be okay. All right, so there's nobody in here. And in we might run out of fuel, but yeah, we're gonna definitely run out of fuel. Shit. I mean, we're not far from the outpost. This vehicle is an outpost vehicle, so it's not like we have to get it back right now. Try to see if there's any gas around here, though. Come up here, we'll check for fuel. If we can't find any, we'll just keep it moving. It is what it is. But I told you guys, the bloater gas, is, it's really fast. Um, you just do that first phase. Then you go ahead, you drop the freaking uh, the flare down. And then you just start spamming the gas. Now, you, uh, I, you don't want to do it too fast because... Um, what? We had a chance to make an ally. So much for that. Uh-oh. I have no clue who the, who the hell those were. None of my peeps. I mean, talking to me like that, about to get slapped in the mouth, dude. All quiet. At least, as quiet as it can get this close to a play card.
A lot of zombies inside this place. Probably not even worth it. Look through the windows over here, see what we see. Yeah, definitely. If I had the crossbow, I'd probably try to mess around with that building, but right now it's not even worth... Probably not even going to get gas out of it anyways. We know where the car is if we ever need it. I'm so beat. So that heart did have fuel. This heart has med. So we still got to loot those two hearts out. Um... And I think what we're going to do is once I push this one here in the vet clinic, I'm going to move this food outpost to um, this swine and bovine. Now it'll kind of be like our looting hub for this area. Now, we haven't even been using play cart fodder, man, for these play carts. I've been using just normal survivors. So it's it's time for Ken to go back out, chat. We're going to kind of throw him at as many... Because he wasted he wasted meds last episode, if you guys remember. So um, at this point, we're going to kind of just throw Ken at it and see uh, see how far he can get. We'll swap out his book backpack. They'll give him a lighter one. Way better at fighting. Eight pounds. Should we give him an ultralight, actually? Make him travel nice and light. Um, I'll give him stims. Give him heals. I will give him one repair kit or uh, health kit. Give him a plague cure. Give him the Vol King Vulture 44 and. Give him one of these JL 94 uh, civilian. Okay, and then he's going to need ammo. Give him a little bit of fire. And we'll send him out with that. We'll see. We'll see what he how, what he can do with this chip. Might top off his bullets, though, because okay, that was empty. So we gave him his we gave him a survival kit. Congress. More useless alive, or as the undead. I see it's a tougher. Do a repair kit and a gas can. Shit did not mean to sort ammo. It doesn't matter where you are, as long as you have good friends around. Should actually, should we grab the other car? Just use that one. Yeah, we'll just grab the other car and use that one.
So our boy's going... Heads up, freak nearby. Would like him to at least make it to Blake Hart without having to use up anything, but we might have to shoot this feral. Which my guns aren't suppressed, so that's gonna be a little loud. Well, it might be okay. Guys, Ken has earned his keep, like, for the time that he's been here. Alright, uh, yeah, he put in work, which is the reason why I've fed him for as long as I have. Get it in. So, um, as you guys seen, the game froze, and I literally just spawned back in in front of the play card. I don't know what phase we're on, so... Okay, so it remembered both phases. It saved our damage. Cool, cool, cool. So that one's down. Got another one down here. Uh, 
Well, so Gabe can fire. Where the hell is it? It's in the zip. Uh, in the car. See this play card? You can kind of aim forward, hit the zombies and the heart at the same time. But watch them grab, so. a screamer I'm scanning for it. I don't see anything There's... So I will give him another uh, plague here. That's the only thing I am going to give him. No res other resources, though. We're, we're, he's just got to take what he has. Sorry, guys. All right, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give him another plague here, which we don't have crafted. Let's get one of those made. Stims, he's fine. Uh, let's actually get rid of those and give him regular meds. All right, let's head back out. So he's got those all cleared out like i said we're gonna set up an outpost here once we're done with this push and uh, we'll send them down to this bungalow now look, like i told you guys before with the expendable survivors um you just send them until they die and then like i said then you can just get another one you know what i mean so as uh, you guys see with ken i'm able to get multiple hearts done say you're only able to get one or two with yours and then he dies it is what it is eventually you're going to get better and better and better to the point where you're going to be able to get more and more hearts with your expendable um damn it yeah don't be too hard on yourself if you can't you know get three or four with them Grab, dude. Maybe I don't have fire. But I gave him fire.
Another one down. Take out the nearest plague heart. This should clear up. No more deadheads, but that won't last long. You just push fast and hard, guys, and what happens is the, the game actually has a hard time keeping up with you. Um place is hotter than a damn the spawns. That space. Now go for the head. All right, and go right into the heart. You kind of got to watch the area or like watch all the zombies and kind of look out for the grab animation. But these dudes, like, we just keep pushing them, we pull them out, spread them out across the whole area. There's obviously they're everywhere, but we just keep moving fast. You get somebody with marathons too, you can do this without stims. Yeah, so we're watching, there's a grab. Another grab. Can't let up now. I need a break. Now what we really want right now is some fire. Cause it's getting thick. It's getting real thick. What ends up happening is when you keep a lot of zombies in the game like this um, and don't kill them, there's just only so many spawn spots that can be active at once. So there can only be so many zombies on screen at a time. And if you have max zombies, which we're probably pretty close to, um, nothing else can spawn in. So if you keep it capped like this while you're doing play cards, uh, you'll never get another Pharaoh spawn.
So right now my guy's having a hard time swinging. There's a lot of zombies. We get bumped in the meat and potatoes. Feels nice to take back some territory. We got one more stim. Now he has marathon, so technically I could, once we run out of stims, I'll be able to continue pushing hearts for the most part. Good grab, dude. Almost there. Can't let up now. If I had fire right now, we've got to kill that play card in one hit. Uh, because the bloater gas. So, only thing he's really hurting on is his plague damage. An outpost there would be a real game changer. Ooh, and there's hu uh, hostile humans here. Now. We got Marathon, so what we're going to do is you sprint. Was that oh, you got to be in light carry. Never mind. We'd have to drop some stuff. Ooh, good grab, dude. So because he's going to die here soon, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump on this play cart. Put in work, chat. He served his purpose. 
We got, what, two phases out of there, right? So we'll switch over. It doesn't really matter. What up, everyone? I'm back. <laughs> Have I got an offer for you, my friend? Can you meet up? Wandering Trader Echo Lab Envoy. The one that we've been waiting for. Now watch it. Watch right at the end. It's going to have exactly what we need. <laughs> we'll send up somebody over to check and see if they have it. Um, Still at it, huh? Mm. Let's see here. So because the way we geared up... Um, Ken, the way we sent him out, he doesn't have anything. The only the, the car wasn't even like we did leave our other car at the other outpost, but um like everything that was down there, nothing it was like, oh man, I need to go back and get this. It, it was all just um junk gear for the most part. He used up all of his stims, he used up all of his consumables. He has a heavy weapon on him, a couple guns that I don't care about, and a little bit of ammo. But he uh he did well, guys. He 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 definitely did well. Now, I am going to grab some stuff to sell this trader, just because. Where is he? Oh, nice. And he's right up near my base. We'll grab the Dito. The Von Dito. Now we got one less mouth to feed, guys. Oh, I also should open this. One less mouth to feed. Or, or, and we got a bunch of play cards done. I know it might seem a little savage, but hey, gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? Stuff to trade and it? he okay. has it of course <laughs> really dude and he has two bottles of says that bullshit guys uh one of them i mean at least we got it before the end of the um the series so i can at least show you guys how it works but it's funny because the you get your hands on right here the advanced biochem station it makes things quite simple for you um i'm gonna we'll grab it i was gonna buy these two bottles that are already made but we'll just make our own save save the influence uh but that that was the big one that that was what we wanted that is indeed what we wanted the earlier you can get your hands on one of these biochem stations the better uh and you guys will see why right now now they are a little expensive to run uh how i'm going to show you guys right now um you do need a lot of plague samples and as you guys know early game plague samples are kind of hard to come across Okay, so we'll go ahead, get this bad boy deposited in. 
deposited and then we'll go ahead and install it in there that's going to take a few minutes and now while that's installing what we can do is what as you guys can see we got we got an outpost that we need to get moved and set up over here and then we could technically set up an outpost down here too no we got two freaking hostels down here now this play cart here is going to be a little more tricky with these hostels here um because now we're gonna have to worry about getting shot in the back by people so once we finish off this one um i might take these guys out which will be pretty easy to do with how we're gonna um take out the play cards. so might be able to actually do both at once oh it'll be, it'll be interesting to see but before we do that we're gonna head up here we're gonna get this uh swine and bovine turned into an outpost so we gotta get rid of outpost one and move into there. I guess we could take the Vandito. Need all the storage we can get. I do have a van over in that area, but... I want the storage. I forgot how decent the Vandito is on fuel. Okay, Biochem is installed. Okay, so let's tear down outpost one. Get it moved to here. So it was a screamer on that field. There it is. Is clear. So now our new outpost. Hey base, I just finished a new outpost. Let's get it cleared out real quick. 
You know, come to think of it, I can see how we might improve this place even more. Hell yeah. Nothing left here. Kind of stinks. We didn't even get a fuel food rock. Not that we really needed it like that, but it always does feel a little bad when you loot a food location and don't even get food. Okay, so we're just gonna make runs, clear out these um, play cart buildings really quick. Fuel next door, too. Just thinking about doing this area a level two outpost, also. We could obviously, because we could use the food. And uh, we'll be able to store our rucks. The band. Ooh. Good sneeze. That's a lot of zombies, actually. the play cart uh we got some grenades that is a lot to carry decent loot Out cardio. We'll go uh go backpacking. Screw it. Can you get over here right now? We need help. I'll be right there. Mm, no, not too worried about them. Fighting Max. Mm, I'm striking. We're going to have to swap him over to a, uh, a blunt. I see a blood feral. Oh, nice. Got a blood open right there. This shit is heavy. That was the last one. Go for the head.
could actually probably hit the one right here across the street too. Oh, is that you know what? Actually, let's see if we can get some goodies out of the auto shop itself. Yeah, we haven't looted this place at all, so we should be able to get a repair kit, some gas. Guys almost got max stealth too. So as you guys seen here, still no black play card. I really, really wanted to get one. That way we could kind of figure it out together, but uh No luck. So I'm gonna kinda have to put all my eggs in the basket of when this new update goes to the PTR and we're allowed to kind of really crank oh, the curveballs to really, really hard that hopefully we get a few then. So I only have the two play cards left, so unless one decides to pop, you know, between now and when we kill those, SOL guys. And we've been running like decent morale too, so it's not like my morale has been all super crazy low the whole time either. Plus six food a day. We'll upgrade this outpost too. I got the. We got the influence. Oh yeah, we got. Uh, I mean, we kind of. Yeah, we're all right. That didn't happen. So this is gonna upgrade to level two. That's gonna give us more food. And I'll be able to deposit rocks here because we got we got quite a bit of loot in this area. If you actually look at it, it's a decent bit of stuff in this area. That is a lot to carry. Go. Actually, shoot through our nine millimeter quite fast. I mean, we got it. We, we could easily craft up more, as you guys seen. We uh, we got a lot of ammo, not much to do with it. So, uh, yeah, crafting bullets is something we could do pretty easily right now. Depends on how much you shoot, as you guys see. I don't, I don't, I, I don't shoot as much as I used to. I used to just go around and shooting everything all the time, um, but. I, I, I kind of got away from that, and I kind of rely on melee a bit more, or just avoidance. Yo, that is one sick juggernaut. And I, I just shoot when necessary. You know, if I get super overwhelmed, I don't have fire. Um, we'll do some shooting, but for the most part, we just we try to avoid it. I'm actually going to swap out this stupid club, because this club is ridiculously heavy, right? 10 pounds, yeah, for the bell club. It's got good knockdown and stuff, but... It's just really, really heavy. Freedom Ringer.
Three ferals up there. Now, when you're operating in an area like this and you want to do some looting and you know that you're getting into where there's like, you know, dangerous hordes like this, this, that's four ferals just right there in that area. Um, and you, you can see this. You can just activate outpost traps. That way, like, say I'm hitting there looting and all of a sudden these ferals come, I can just move back into my safe zone here and, and we're good. We can do whatever the hell we want in this territory. Um, I got the resources to activate outpost traps here, no problem. Uh... Because, yeah, to, to do it, it's three. Because because we have munitions and chemistry, it's three ammo, 25 parts. That's really not that expensive. Because um, I believe it usually costs fuel, too. So. Yeah, it's not it's not bad at all, guys. It's not bad at all. But um, we still got these play cards to, to loot out. On our way down, I will be trying to get another outpost. But in order to do that, let me see. Command center is maxed. I don't have... We need to get one of the freaking... Uh, this. Yeah, so give us an additional outpost. So we'll get that crafted. Get it installed here. That'll give us an additional outpost. And if we had um when the the what is it? The network trader comes, they have the satellite that gives you two extra outposts. So that, that would have got us up to seven. Because we're getting already one additional from our hacker. Um, but yeah, if we had that other one, we'd be we'd have seven. But this is how we're gonna get six. We'll be we'll be maxed outposts like base max outpost with this so we'll, we'll get that installed um and then yeah i think i'm gonna put an outpost down here i might do the gas station for a little bit of fuel income and go from there but all right guys thank you so much we are definitely getting down to the wire like i said um we only got a few play cards left which are going to be pretty easy especially with the method i'm going to show you guys um, which is probably your go-to method if you really want to push play cards fast, especially if you like move to a new map or something like that. You want to kind of just knock play cards out real, real quick, and you have an already a community that's already um, like really, really strong. This method is probably like tried and true, one of the best. So um, thank you guys again. I really appreciate the love and support. Again, once we get the play cards done, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna pick a uh, legacy, push that legacy real quick, and um, that'll be it, guys. That'll be it for this playthrough, and then. Um, like I said, I don't know if by the time you guys are seeing this, if the new update is already on PTR and we're already playing it, but uh, we'll have a series of that coming too. So for those guys that want more State of Decay content, even after this is done, uh, we'll be having that going for a little bit, try, checking out that that new adjustment for the curveballs, seeing if we can really make the game, like how hard can we really, I, I highly doubt I'll be able to beat it, but it'll be fun to try. Uh, but again, thank you so much. I appreciate the love and support. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.